All right, I'm pretty sad to report this, but unfortunately, it looks like Fiora has returned. So you may not know this if you don't play top lane yourself, but a couple of patches ago, I think it was 9.19, Fiora had a really interesting change to her Q ability. Her Q, of course, is the little dash that she has where she'll strike an opponent in the range, in, in its range that, you know, it's a pretty nice ability. It's good for harass with her passive as well as getting minions, getting CS if you need to spam it to do so. But... Um, it, it got this really interesting small buff. Fiora's Q can now be used on towers. It can be used on towers. It can be used on, um, oh, it can be used on towers. It can also be used on wards and other structures, I believe. And it's something that at, at first it doesn't look like that big of a change, but it's actually pretty significant. Fiora is already somebody who's meant to be like the 1v1 split pusher in the mid and late game. And for her to be even better at taking towers now with this change, that, that's pretty, pretty scary. And I'm, I'm kind of upset about it. I don't know. I have a prejudice against Fiora. She's just dumb. I hate her. She's, uh, she's dumb and I hate her. Okay. I mean, do I really have to say anything other than that? There's something about playing against her and her stupid passive where, I mean, you can't really do anything to play against her. She's not like a champion that you can outskill. She's exclusively someone that you have to counterpick because there isn't really a way to straight up outplay her. Or you could beg for ganks. Oh, that's frustrating. I should have warded. I didn't. I don't know why I didn't. Eh, because I'm a bad player. That's probably why I didn't. Anyway, Fiora's pick rate has been going up from patch to patch ever since that last buff happened. So I feel like it's only appropriate for us to go ahead and spend some time maybe learning her. Uh, maybe trying to figure out how to how to play her ourselves because... You know, I've, I've kind of never tried to. <laughs> I've spent all this time complaining about her. Maybe I should go and try and play her a little bit myself. I mean, if you can't beat him, join him. We're off to a pretty rough start here in this laning phase after that early gank from Trundle. But, I mean, at the same time, Quinn didn't get the kill and... We're not that far behind in CS. We can probably catch back up whenever she ends up eventually recalling. So, um, I mean, I, on the bright side, for once, we're playing an actually meta champion. So, we, we don't have to worry about our scaling falling off after the 15-minute mark. Ooh, Diana's up here. Getting the flash out of Quinn. That's solid. That's all you're going to be able to get, though, but that's fine. She doesn't have a teleport. She just has Ignite. But be careful about her ultimate now. Quinn has been missing for a little while. I assume she's ganking a teammate because, yeah, she's been gone. She's probably roaming around with her big ultimate, but that is okay. Actually, do you want to fight? Nah, of course you do. Of course you do because you have a you you have your own gank coming. Um, are we fine though? Nope, we are not. Okay, this is getting very annoying. Um, I, I should expect this kind of stuff. I should have recalled and, and not been going for the turret plightings. Turret plightings make me so greedy. I'm just dumb. You know, the more I think about it, the more I feel like Fiora might be a champion that's kind of in my wheelhouse. I mean, she fits a lot of the a lot of the qualifications for what it is I like about certain champions. She has a lot of outplay potential. She's really great at split pushing. She has great 1v1s. I guess she's not that good at... Oh, maybe I could have popped ulti there. I don't know that much about my damage outputs or whatever. I was going to say, maybe she's not the best at escaping from ganks, which is kind of a qualification I need to be able to have, because everybody loves to gank Jibei. Then again, I probably shouldn't blame that for my lack of warding. Have to remember to actually place my control ward. But on the bright side, even with these three ganking deaths, we are still quite far ahead in terms of our CS. We should be able to scale... Okay, that was me being awful. I'm awful. I hate myself. I don't like the human being that I am. Can you finish her, please? Do you have alt? You do. You're trying to not to not use it. And you don't need to. Good job. Kind of wish I got the assist there so my score didn't look quite so ugly. I need to actually use my W to get stuns, though. I mean, that's the thing that's actually really prevented me from playing Fiora more than anything else. I'm really bad at being able to use the W in anticipation of crowd control abilities. It's kind of easy if you're against, like, a Malphite or something and you have this big, obvious ultimate that's coming at you that you can kind of predict when a Malphite player will use it. And on top of that, you also have a pretty long animation for uh, by the time he uses it to 
to when he gets to you. Um, but I'm not quite as good at like Quinn's E. I'm, I, I haven't timed that correctly once this game. Can you please stop coming top lane though? I was trying to ward to deal with you too. Just get out of my lane. There's other lanes. You can go and gank them. Oh, did I W his thing? Oh, I W'd his thing, didn't I? Okay, we live, we live, we live. I was thinking about going back in there, but... Okay, come on. This is like my first time playing Fiora in forever. I don't want to actually get myself killed and being overly confident and greedy. Ooh, did we catch out Quinn? Yes, we did. We will go ahead and get a kill on her. And now let's see how much damage we deal to towers. I haven't really had an opportunity to test that out because we've been getting ganked so much. But we want to go ahead and use the Q as much as possible. And we, of course, took Demolish. So that's that's pretty solid damage. You can see we're dealing 107 with auto attacks and 122 with our Q. Um, just that extra reset on the auto and, and what is it, like a three second cooldown? That should help us quite a bit with split push. We got her. Heal. Oh, shoot. We didn't heal up enough because she had Ignite. But hey, that, that should be enough to... Not quite enough to get us our Triforce. But we're getting pretty close for our Triforce. And um, we're finishing some some pretty solid items. 2, 5, and 1 is a very ugly score. But if you just take a look at the gold and, and ignore the stupid mistakes and the deaths, we're probably ahead of her in terms of our gold. Now it's time to do my favorite thing, though. Which, of course, is... Not leaving lane, just keeping on split pushing. Pushing the tower, let's get another one. One of my favorite things to do as a top laner is just keep on pushing to the inner because oftentimes once someone loses their outer turret, they're just gonna assume that you're gonna leave lane. And if you don't, then they you just get a free tower because like it looks like Quinn went and suicided mid lane, so we get a free tower there. Um, we're doing pretty pretty solid work in terms of putting some pressure on top side, although we are getting a Hashinshin like score. Let's go ahead and steal their red buff on our way out, and then go finish our Triforce. Oh, that was dumb, that was dumb. That was dumb, that was dumb, that was dumb. Get out of there, get out of there. Okay. We are all getting caught out. Now, normally when I play League of Legends and I see this happen, what my assumption is, is, oh shoot, my teammates just died because they were team fighting and I wasn't joining them. Um, and so naturally I stopped the split push and decide to go join the team. I'm not gonna do that. You guys told me last time we shouldn't do that. So let's not do that. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, she came. She gets the double buff, but we got a one for one, and we did force her to come and join us, which looks like they backed off from... I don't know if they were doing anything going for Baron or another tower. We're 3 six, one right now, but this is when we hit our scaling. Um, I mean, we should start improving this KDA, and it's 18 kills to 18. Not a moment to spare. Oh, come on! Okay, we got her. You don't need me. You got that. That's an ace. Okay, time to go split bot lane. We can actually take the Baron off of that now. Trundle can come and try and stop us, but he will not be able to. Okay, that'll just make the split pushing even easier. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, I didn't need to flash. I didn't realize you deal a lot of damage. Oh, uh, we're not going to be able to finish that. Oh, save me. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. Dude, I'm actually an amazing Fiora player. Can we get an... What is that? An ace? That is an ace if we finish him, and we might be able to win the game. Yes, they actually come in with the surrender vote. 24 minutes in. 5, 6, and 3 is our final score, and that doesn't look very impressive. But hey, I mean, I'm, I'm, I've never been a player that's been about being impressive. I've always just been, cared about getting the win. We ultimately still dealt a lot of damage. We dealt more damage than their entire team, and there were only two players on our team who dealt more damage to us. But even more important than that, we dealt way more damage to objectives than anybody. This kind of 
of split push is something to be terrified of, in my opinion, because I'm, I mean, other people might disagree, but I feel like Fiora is a way more annoying split pusher than all the other traditional split pushers in the game, like Trinomir or Jax or someone. Those other characters have pretty big glaring flaws in their kits that kind of prevents them from being all around perfect champions. Not Jax as much when he had Spear of Shoujin, but you know what I mean? Fiora though, she has the whole package and she can be very annoying. So uh, yeah, be aware of that in your solo queue games. But anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed watching today's gameplay video. I apologize if you're a Fiora main and you were offended by my gameplay, but hey, I'm just trying to learn the champion. I will see you all in tomorrow's video, but until then, thank you very much for watching. Good luck in solo queue and have a wonderful day.